in this video, I'm going to show you how to test distance vision using the iChart app. So you'll see on the navigation bar, there's a 10 foot button, or if the metric mode is enabled, it'll say three meters. If you tap this button, you're presented with a single optotype that is calibrated to 10 feet. Um, there's buttons on the bottom there where you can go down a row or up a row, and you can shuffle the optotype that you're showing. And you can also change the optotype uh, mode as well on the navigation bar. The beauty of this tool though, is that last button that says calibrate viewing distance. Basically all you do is you tap this button and you place the phone adjacent to the patient's eyes or face. And then you'll see it'll say distance in meters and feet. And you slowly move the phone away and you can see it's updating in real time. And once you move, let's say, I don't know, let's say you want to test from here, or if you're at a chair and you want to test even further out, then you press this set distance. And you can see right now it's 10 feet, so the optotype should actually shrink in half. So it says set distance, and it shrinks in half. And now it says viewing distance of 5 feet. And if you press reset, you'll go back to a viewing distance of 10 feet. So basically with this mode, you can test distance vision wherever it may be convenient for that particular room or patient or for you. Um, I'm also going to link a website from the American Academy of Ophthalmology that goes in more details on how to test distance vision for those of you that don't routinely test distance vision. But uh, a very brief summary, you want to test in monocular conditions, meaning you want to test one eye at a time. You want to report if the patient is or is not wearing glasses. And basically, you want to have them read the smallest line possible. So let's say um, you show the patient this and they quickly read this no problem. You keep going down until they start to struggle. Once they start struggling, you present more than one optotype. So I typically present five. So I would say one, two, three, four, five. And let's say they get three out of five, then they get credit for that line. So if they get it the majority of the time, they're given credit. Um, there's more nuanced ways to record vision. So you could say 20, 30 minus two, if they missed two out of five, or you could say 20, 30 plus one, if they got 20, 30, and then one on the additional line. But I wouldn't get bogged down in the details. If you're just checking vision as a screening tool, you just want to basically give them credit for the if they get the majority of the optotypes correct. And just by presenting that information to an eye care provider, it's extremely helpful. Um, please leave me a comment if you have any questions, and thank you for watching.